Yo, Vaisant here. So this video is going to be how to create a dedicated server. So I'm going to go over it, what I have, what I did. Uh, this is pretty much just for Windows because that's all I have and it's for Steam. I don't know if you can make a dedicated server with the other stuff, but I'm just going to show you how I did it. So in the game, there is actually, if you go join multiplayer and then go how to set a server, it'll bring you to this, but I will post this link down below as well. And pretty much it, it's going to give you simple directions on how to do it but i'll go over it so it's pretty much going to tell you to go to your steam right and then you want to get the pal dedicated server and in order to do that you want to make sure tools are selected right and then you can just search if you want to or bring it there download that right and then if you launch it it'll pop up this window you plug that in and then your firewall probably will say you want to yeah and you say yes <laughs> So open this window, but for me, I actually have my ser my server on a different computer. And if you want to do that, you will have to do the Windows Steam command because you cannot run Power World on your same Steam account as the dedicated server. So you pretty much click here, it opens here. I'm using Windows. You go here, it'll download it. Um, it's pretty much just going to be a zip file with just one executable in there. So what I also did was I went to my windows. Sorry, I mean my windows. Went to my windows and then I made a new folder called steam command. And then I dragged it, that executable in there. It becomes in here. Uh, these other X files that you will get as you do the next step. But I'll get that in there. Um, and once I get that in there, uh, go to command line. Pretty much CD into that Steam folder, right? And then copy and paste this, and that will download everything on there. Uh, I'm not gonna do it, it's gonna activate the whole thing. Um, and then afterwards, you're gonna take this. If you, all right, after you do this Steam command thing, it'll download everything into your Steam command folder. And then from there, you would see, you do, do this command, right? It'll bring you to CD slash Steam command slash Steam app slash common slash pal server and then what you do is you're gonna start the server first so you're gonna start the server it will start running blah 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 and then when you do that it actually creates a common uh, uh not common but a config file in here so you go in here and then you go and change this config file uh into let's see the pal the pal world settings but it should be blank if i recall let me see if I can open this. Yeah, it's blank. So what you do is you're going to go to um, the regular, I believe. You can go to the default settings here. Open this up. Grab this, copy that. Paste it in here, right? And then from there, you would type, you can change your uh, server name here, server description. They have some settings here to optimize the game balance. If you want to change and look at these, you can like change the death penalty to none if you want. But the important thing is go to your ipchicken.com and get that IP address and then just put that into this public IP address place. Just copy that in, whatever, 78, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> okay. And then save it, right? Save it. Blah, blah, blah. And then uh, restart this server. Restart it. So restarting it should work. And then when your friends want to connect and whatnot, um, you would you would take, let me see if I can grab the screenshot that I did. Uh, open link. Oh God. Okay. So what you're going to do is you get to the bottom down here. When you go join mo multiplayer server, you could go down here and have them put in the address. You replace the 127.0.0.1 with the public IP address, okay? And then what I also did is I went to my firewall, right? Uh, I went to firewall, and then you went to advanced settings that opens this. I went to inbound rules, I made a new rule, and I went to the port. I don't know if you need to do this, but I would just do it anyway. Then you type 8221, uh, you specify that, add a con allow connection, blah, 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 and then you name it whatever. I did that for TCP and I did it again for UDP just just in case. 
and then depending on your router you will go in there and add it as um port forwarding whatever your port forwarding is and then add that in there you can also use a range from 822 8200 to 8300 or something if you want to but you do that you make sure you have that in there i'm not going to show you because that's my infrastructure every router is different so you probably have to check in your your documentation for that so after you do that you can actually go and go pow server.exe and then that technically just start up the thing and then you go in you get that public IP address, whatever it is, and then colon like some like six eight dot one two three dot whatever, um, and then colon eight two one one. Just make sure you have that in there, and you should be good. Here I can, yeah, I guess actually I probably won't show you guys because then that'll be my server. But hopefully that gives you a decent rundown of how to create a server. Let me know if. Do you have any questions? Um, and if you discover everything new, you know what those fields are, let me know. That would be great. But yeah, hopefully that helps. Uh, later days.